Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I'm going to continue a series of showing you how to use iMovie for iPad and iPhone. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to voice over and add music to your different videos. So in order to do that, you need to open iMovie, and you need to start a new project, and that's what I have here. We've got a new project with some footage. Let me grab some of these and drop them down below. And if you don't know how to do this, we have another video as well on just using the basics of iMovie, so you may want to check that out. So we'll drop the footage in, and what I've done is I've already turned on audio waveforms, and this actually shows that there's audio already, and that's this button right here. Turn this off, we don't see any of the audio. Turn it back on, we see the audio waveforms, and you can see the different volume levels and things going up and down. Now maybe I want to add some music to this. I can do that simply by going to this button here, the little gear for settings, and flipping the switch on for theme music, and it automatically adds some theme music for this particular theme. Now if I wanted to add something of my own, I can do that by going up to here, going to audio, and picking some music either from my music that I have already. Maybe we'll go here and just pick a random song and it says unavailable so if it's copyrighted this was actually created by me but if it was copyrighted or it's not on the ipad you'll need to download it first i actually have itunes match turned on so that's going to make a difference but what you want to do is we'll just grab some theme music and how about bright and you can see the little arrow to drop it down we can play it to listen to it or we can just drop it down below and there's our music added onto our video. So we'll hit play. Now obviously that's a little too loud to hear what I'm saying. So we can tap on the music itself and adjust the audio volume. So this is our audio here. Maybe we don't want to hear me talking at all. We'll tap on my video here. We'll tap on audio and we'll drop the volume to zero. Or we can bring it up or we can detach it altogether. It's a separate form here and maybe throw it away and there's a lot of other adjustments we can make as well. But I just wanted to show you how to put this over the top. So maybe we'll just drop it down and now we have some audio. Now that I have the music in place, maybe I want to record my voice over the top of it to talk about the iPhone that we have in the video here. To do that, I can just tap on this microphone in the bottom right and you can see my voice here is being picked up by the microphone on the iPad. Now to do this, what we want to do is hit record. It's going to give us a countdown and then we can record. Hi, this is Aaron for Zolotech and we're going to talk about the iPhone. So now we can either retake it, review it, or accept it. So let me hit accept and we've recorded audio over it. Now let me hear what that sounds like. So that's pretty good. We can move this around wherever we want just by tapping and holding. We can do the same with the audio below. Maybe we want this to come in right here. This to come in right here as well. And we can continue to move that around and we can also adjust the volume. We can adjust the speed of it so we can speed the voice up. We can also fade it out. We can trim it. And we can also move it to the background, duplicate it. Most of the time, what you're going to do is adjust the volume of it or adjust its duration or maybe cut some of it off. As you can see, I move my finger. You've got this little fading part to the right there, and that kind of fades out the audio at the end or fades in the audio at the beginning. But we won't use either one of those. So we can speed it up or slow it down. We slow it way down. So obviously we're not going to use that, but we can speed it up, slow it down, adjust its volume. And if you just play with the menus along the bottom, it's pretty simple. You can move things around and trim it and get it just how you want. Let's throw it in the trash for now. Now, if we make a mistake, we can hit this button right here and bring it right back. So 
pretty comprehensive. It's not as complicated as something such as Final Cut Pro on a Mac, but you can do a good amount of things as far as what you want to do with your different clips. If you followed along from the previous video and saw how to use this overall basically and combine it with some music, maybe some voiceover, maybe an intro, like I showed before, you could have a pretty good video to show your family, friends, or put on YouTube, or whatever you might be doing with it. It'd be pretty good. So there's a lot you can do with it. It's not as advanced as something like Final Cut Pro, but it's very advanced for an iPad and is really pretty comprehensive, and you can do some really nice things with it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's anything else you'd like to see that I haven't shown yet, let me know as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.